Hello, welcome back. Matthew here, aka Coach Wicked. Today I'm going to talk to you about calories and what that means to your body. Now, what is a calorie? First off, that's what we need to discuss. So a calorie is a unit to measure the input and output of energy. And in this case, what goes in and out of our body. How do we get calories? Through the food that we eat. And depending on what type of food that we eat, depends on how many calories we intake. So for example, when you're eating carbohydrates such as potatoes, rice, bread, you get about four calories per gram of carbohydrate. However, when we're talking about fat intake from foods such as meat and dairy products such as eggs and milk, we have per gram of fat, nine calories that goes into your body. Now to keep your body in balance, you need an equal amount of energy input and energy output. Now our daily recommended allowance, RDA, per person for female is 2,000 calories per day and for a male it is 2,500. However, if you're taking in more calories than you are burning per day, this is where you start putting on weight. Or if you're in a calorie deficit, this is where you can lose weight. And depending on your goals, you want to decide whether you want to lose weight or put on weight. So some of you might be overweight and decide you want to lose a few pounds. Some of you might want to put on muscle mass, which will require you increasing your calories. Now, I'm going to draw a diagram for you. Yes, heart attack, eat your heart out. And I'm going to show it to the camera so you can see what I mean. So here we are. Hopefully you can see this. So in this diagram, the body is out of balance and in this particular scenario, the body fat increases. This is because the energy output and the energy input are not equal measure. So when we're talking about energy output, this is the amount of energy that we burn on a day-to-day -day basis. This includes resting metabolic rate, which is the term that we use to describe when our body is at rest, but also in particular, the energy that we use during activity and exercise. Now on the other side of the scale we have energy input. Again, this is the amount of energy that we gain through food and drink. Now if you look at this diagram, you'll see that the body is in balance. This is because the energy input and the energy output are of equal measure. Now you've managed to achieve the perfect calorie intake, congratulations. However, this doesn't mean you're necessarily going to have the perfect body. There are a million and one other factors that come into play and besides, what is the perfect body? So just to recap, calories are a unit to measure the energy that is required for our body to function. Now don't think that dieting is all about cutting calories in order to lose weight. It's also about increasing calories in order to gain muscle mass. So if you are down the gym and you are trying to gain muscle, don't forget to eat. Eat, 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 okay? Get that food in you, okay? But don't just eat crisps and soft drinks and cakes. Make sure it's good, healthy food. Now, I hope you found that video useful and I hope you found it as enjoyable to watch as I have to produce it. Thank you for taking the time to watch it today. It really helps me out as well. You have to bear in mind that I'm currently going through the process of gaining my qualification in the level three personal training. So this is revision for me, really. Um, anyway, if you have enjoyed it today, please like, subscribe, comment and share. And also check me out on social media. I am on Twitter and Instagram under Coach Wicked. I'm hoping to put more content up there as well soon. So start liking and following, etc, etc. And I will see you next time. Take it easy. Cheers.